Hey guys, so this week on the Beautylicious Girlies collab, if you don't already know, is DIYs. So, I am doing a little DIY felt bow for you guys, and Laura thought you would appreciate this too. So, basically the finished product is going to look like this. I'm wearing one in my hair right now, and mine's kind of lopsided because I'm a little crazy, but you know, that's okay. So... Yeah, if you want to learn how to make these cute little felt bows, then just keep watching because they're super easy. And I will see you guys in a second. Bye! Basically, all you'll need is a piece of felt, and my color is red, and scissors, crazy glue or hot glue. I'm just using crazy glue because it's a lot easier. And a bobby pin. So, let's get started. First, you're going to start off by cutting a 2 inch wide strip. So you're going to measure on your cutting board two inches, which is here, and make a tiny cut and you want it to be nine inches long. Cut it all the way up to there. And yeah, so I'm just going to start cutting. I'm going to be cutting it a little longer than nine inches, that way I can measure it perfectly when I'm finished. So here we have, and it's about exactly 10 inches, that's funny. So now we're going to just cut it, cut off an inch, so I'm just going to be cutting right there. We're going to basically fold them and make a little sandwich like this. So you have these two pieces and you fold them over and make sure that they're somewhat in the middle. Take your crazy glue and I'm going to unscrew it here. Okay, so now you're going to unfold one of the pieces and take your glue and mine's in a little brush form so that makes it easier and just brush your glue right along there so that's going to work a little better if you use hot glue but like I said for the tutorial it's a lot easier for me to just use crazy glue <clears throat> but if you have hot glue I recommend you use it it's just a lot more messy and you should be careful with it so yeah, so now you have something that looks like this. And it doesn't matter if it's not like perfectly even because you won't be able to see it. Now, take your piece of felt again. A little less than an inch wide. And a couple inches long. It's always better if you cut more than you think you need because you can always cut off extra, but you can never add extra. So that's what I always think when I'm doing crafty sort of things. So I'm going to fold my bow again and I'm going to put my little strip in the middle here so and you're going to put this in the middle like this that way it looks like that yay and as you can see I have some excess so I'm just going to cut it cut it off cut off the excess of one side and leave the other side just as long that way I can easily overlap the other one. Now I'm going to be taking my bobby pin and I'm going to just put it around, clip, clamp it on this little piece here. That way you have something like this. And remember you don't have to even use a bobby pin if you're not planning to put this bow like in your hair. And now you're going to fold that piece over so it looks like that. So you're going to be uh, be gluing this piece that the bobby pin's attached to down. Okay, so I've plugged my hot glue get glue gun in. There we go. Yay! So now we've got some glue on our bow, on our little strip. And we're going to press that down. And we're going to wait for it to dry like cool people. Okay. So as you can see, I have glued this part down so the bobby pin's behind the bow. And um, you're going to always want to wait for that to dry, obviously, <clears throat> before you go sticking it in your hair or something. Okay, since our little bow is dried, it can look like this. And it's super cute. I hope you guys enjoy this little DIY. I hope it was easy enough to understand. Tune in tomorrow for Pink Star Leopard's DIY video. And I will see you guys next week. Until then, I'll see you on my main channel, which is linked in the down bar. And yeah, bye guys. Bye.